Hey guys, what's going on? In today's video, I wish to discuss the Apple Watch with you guys. So I'm going to be discussing a few topics that have crossed my mind recently so I can tell you about the Apple Watch and you can get more information on it. So regarding the release date, the Apple Watch is going to be coming out in April. Now, Apple did tell us that the Apple Watch is going to be coming out sometime in early 2015. Now, when they said this, we were expecting at the earliest February and at the latest March. That would be in the first quarter of 2015. Now, them releasing it in April is technically in the second quarter of 2015 and really doesn't qualify as early 2015. It's really pushing it for Apple. So maybe they did have scheduled a March release, but they did have some issues issues with production, and that delayed it back to April. Uh, regardless, the release is going to be in April, and the sales for the Apple Watch are probably going to be insane. It's probably going to be even harder to pre-order an Apple Watch uh, than it was to pre-order, for example, an iPhone 6. Uh, so in the first 24 hours of pre-ordering on the iPhone 6, I believe Apple sold over 4 million. So the numbers for the Apple Watch, uh, at least I'm thinking it's going to be even higher because, well, it's a brand new product for Apple. Uh, moving on, uh, I'm going to be talking about price now. So the Apple Watch is going to be starting at $349. Now I'd like to highlight one word that I said, starting at. The Apple Watch is starting at $349 and it's the price is only going to go up uh, by a lot from there. So if you're expecting to pay $349 for the Apple Watch, that is not including taxes, that is for the smaller face, the 38mm, and it's for the crappiest or cheapest band. So if you're hoping to get the larger 42mm uh, face and you want to get a better band, you're probably going to be paying upwards of $400 to $425 and that's not including taxes. Uh, so the Apple Watch, if you were thinking you were going to be spending around $349, uh, that is if you want to get the cheapest band and the smaller face. Uh, so just keep that in mind when you are buying your Apple Watch. Now the last topic I want to talk about uh, is iPhones and using your iPhone with the Apple Watch. Uh, so. Apple did say that an iPhone is required if you do have an Apple Watch. Now I'm going to be talking more about jailbreaking. So iOS 8.2 comes with the WatchKit utility and you cannot use the Apple Watch unless you have iOS 8.2 installed because iOS 8.2 comes with the Apple Watch app and you cannot use the Apple Watch without an iPhone. Now going back to jailbreaking, if iOS 8.2 is not jailbreakable, and you do have an Apple Watch, you will not be able to jailbreak iOS 8.2 and have the Apple Watch. You will have to choose between the two. So if you are, for example, on iOS 8.1.2, which at the moment is still jailbreakable, uh, then if you buy an Apple Watch, you will not be able to use it with iOS 8.1.2. iOS 8.2 is required with the Apple Watch. So just keep that in mind if you do buy the Apple Watch. I am hoping that there is a jailbreak for iOS 8.2 by the time the Apple Watch is out uh, because I do wish to be jailbroken and use my Apple Watch at the same time. Uh, so anyway guys, this was just a quick video discussing uh, some topics I had crossed my mind regarding the Apple Watch. If you enjoyed this video, please share it, please like it, and leave me a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. My name is Michael, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.